Hello? Uh, good uh, afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this uh, information session of Riga uh, Technical uh, University. Uh, we are uh, part of the uh, North Europe. Here in the map, you can see the red country, uh, one of the Baltic states uh, at the Baltic Sea, across the sea from Sweden and the Scandinavian countries, with the capital city uh, of uh, Riga. And that's where the university is located as well. We are just um, uh, based in the very heart of Riga city. And here, so that you can just visualize what country looks like. It's uh, 
uh, a bit different uh, from what you used to seeing around. We have four distinct seasons. We have uh, autumn when everything uh, uh, gets uh, colorful, yellows and uh, brown and, and reddish. And uh, as Latvia has the longest uh, coastline, 500 kilometers. And of course, we have our beaches all ac across the coast, as well uh, nearby the capital city of Riga. And uh, we do have winters as well, where you can see that uh, year from year, we may have a generous snowfall as well. But just a very uh, few facts uh, about Latvia. We are part of the European Union. We are part of NATO since 2004. In 2008, we joined the Schengen area. And the currency which we are using here as the rest of the Europe would be uh, euros. And uh, what's uh, more important, especially these days, then as well, uh, we have been spending a lot of time uh, working remotely, students been studying remotely. Uh, then, of course, uh, the speed of the Wi-Fi becomes, uh, or the internet rather, becomes uh, more essential. And Latvia is one of the top 10 countries worldwide when it comes to the fastest internet. So we, we were able to very quickly shift uh, from campus studies to the remote studies, provide uh, all the lectures and as well all the materials online for the students. You were able to uh, join your class whether you were renting your accommodation in the city or you were staying in our dormitories, the Wi-Fi was um, and the internet access was available everywhere uh, within the campus and in the city. And uh, as I already mentioned, the university is located in the capital city. And here, so that you can visualize that, I have a few pictures as well gathered from the capital city. Here, uh, the... All right, just a second. It seems that we are having a technical uh, issue. But, uh, let me see if I can start sharing once again. Right. Mm -hmm. My apologies, there has been the technical problem, but seems that everything is working now. So once again, welcome to this information session of Riga Technical uh, University, one of the options when considering and studying in Europe. And Riga Technical University as well is now part of the European University in Technology. What does it mean for yourself as a potential student? That would mean at once you would be studying in eight universities, which uh, then all together four 
form the European University of uh, Technology. And our uh, campuses or other partners are located across the Europe. We have uh, partners in Ireland, in uh, Spain, in France, in Germany, in uh, Cyprus, in Romania, in Bulgaria, and uh, Latvia all together then form the European University of Technology. Of course, if there is an interest, we can uh, provide a lot more information about that as well and the possibilities it offers to the uh, students once you are studying at Riga Technical University. And uh, ourselves, uh, we are based in Latvia, in the capital city of Latvia in uh, Riga. And here I've uh, gathered a few pictures for you so that you could as well visualize the, what the country looks like. We have a very long coastline, 500 kilometers. That's the longest among the Baltic states. So lots of beaches there. And now uh, in the summer, that's of course the time when you can enjoy it the most. And then of course we have our autumn, spring and the winter where year from year you can have as well the quite generous uh, snowfall. Uh, then uh, coming to the few facts about Latvia, then uh, since uh, 2004, uh, we've been part of uh, European Union, part of NATO, and uh, since 2008, we joined the Schengen area, and the currency which we are using in Latvia, that would be euros as the most uh, part of the Europe. Uh, what I would like to highlight is that Latvia is amongst top 10 countries globally or worldwide with the fastest internet, uh, which has become ever so essential these days when most of the services, including studying, uh, customer support, or even us guiding the students, that's been provided remotely. However, we are expecting uh, that... Uh, uh, we will be resuming back to the campus studies from this September, September uh, to 2021. And uh, here seems that the slideshow is not uh, is not working.
Good uh, afternoon, everyone. Uh, once again, to this information session of Riga Technical University. My apologies that uh, we've been having a trouble uh, with the presentation, which I want to share with you today. But I assume that uh, today, uh, well, today, uh, right now, we should be fine. And um, I'm going to start once again uh, from the beginning. Uh, so today, I'm going to be talking about Riga Technical University uh, as one of the options uh, when it comes to studying in Europe. And uh, Riga Technical University is a part of the European University of Technology. Uh, what that means for you as a potential student that we have uh, other seven universities which have joined us and uh, we have other seven campuses across uh, Europe and uh, our partners, if we can change uh, to the next slide, please. I'm not sure I'm able to do that uh, myself. Probably I can, yeah. Uh, then uh, you can see that our partners, they come from Ireland, from Spain, from France, from Germany, uh, from uh, Bulgaria, Romania, and from uh, Cyprus. Um, but... Uh, if we talk a bit about uh, Latvia, then uh, here I have gathered some of the photos as well so that you can visualize the country first. Uh, we have our four distinct seasons. We have uh, winter, we have uh, autumn, summers and the spring. And Latvia as well, amongst all three Baltic countries, has the longest coastline. So lots of beaches there for you, 500 kilometers. And of course, now we are in the summer when that is the... Uh, the right time for enjoying that. And just a few facts about Latvia that since 2004 uh, we've been part of the European Union and part of the NATO and since 2008 we have been as well part of the Schengen area. As majority of the countries, countries in Europe uh, we are using uh, Euro as our main currency and uh, what I would like to as well highlight is that Latvia is one of the top 10 countries globally or worldwide when it comes to the fastest internet uh, which of course uh, played the crucial role uh, very like in recently uh, when we uh, were hit all by pandemic and all the studies and all the services were uh, had to be moved online uh, then uh, we were very efficient in that regard and within a week we were able to move or shift rather from the campus studies to the online studies. However, uh, now uh, we are expecting that from September 2021, which is now the current intake, uh, the studies then will resume back uh, on campus and uh, only some of the large uh, uh, theoretical courses then still will be conducted uh, online. And uh, the university, we are located in the capital city of Latvia, which is Riga. And here as well, you can see some of the photos so that you can uh, visualize the city itself as well. Here uh, you can see the view of the... Uh, old town of Riga, and uh, where is our main administration building, but our main campus, Chipsel campus, is just uh, across the uh, river, literally 10 minutes walk from the city, uh, old town of the Riga city, and is located in the city center of uh, Riga. Uh, Artu is one of the oldest uh, technical universities, not only in Latvia, but as well in the northern part of Europe. University was established in 1862, and uh, next year we will be celebrating our 160 uh, to anniversary. Of course, uh, throughout all of these years, we have uh, many as well famous alumni, including the Nobel uh, Prize winners, our uh, 
uh, ex-president uh, as well of a European uh, commissioner and uh, president of Poland. So there is a long list, of course, of the alumni, alumni throughout all these uh, many years. Uh, when it comes to the faculties and study fields uh, at the university, it seems that someone is trying to assist me, but I'm managing to navigate the presentation. So thank you very much. But I'll manage. So when we go back to the faculties, then we have the Faculty of Civil Engineering, Computer Science, e-learning technologies and humanities. So that would be the only faculty offering uh, studies for the students with arts background. Then we have Faculty of Business or Economics and Management, Faculty of Electronics and Telecommunications, Power Electrical Engineering, Material Science and Applied Chemistry, and uh, Faculty of Mechanics and um, Transport and Aeronautics. Just in a short while, I'll gonna as well talk a bit more in the detail which uh, different study programs are offered uh, there in English for the international students. At the university, we are gathering about 15,000 students for the European University that is considered being a large uh, size university. Out of those 15,000, more than 3,500 are international students, uh, and they come from 90 different countries, of course, including students from India as well. There are about 1,000 students from India uh, studying at Riga Technical University. And one of the main reasons as well why we have such an interest from the international students is that, of course, our uh, affordable tuition fees and uh, uh, the choice of the different degrees which we are offering. There are more than 57 study programs which we are completely taught uh, in English for you. And I'm going to uh, list them for you just in a short while. Uh, before I'm doing that, then quickly we're going to go uh, through the study process. Uh, that uh, you could understand how that is organized. So after your 10 plus 2 or 10 plus 3 qualification, the first entry point at the university would be your bachelor study. So in case of Latvia and Riga Technical University, we are offering academic bachelor studies and we are offering professional bachelor studies. You can see that there is a time difference. And the reason for that is that for professional bachelor studies, you have your inter integrated in the study process. So that takes a bit longer because you have one semester or two semesters which you need to spend in the industry and as well gain the practical experience, right? Submit your report before you are allowed to graduate. And the same uh, scheme works for the master studies as well, uh, which you can enter after you completed your bachelor studies. And we offer as well the doctoral or research studies once you completed your master studies. For the doctoral students, we are offering the scholarships as well. Uh, but uh, to apply for doctoral studies, you would need to uh, complete one of our master degrees, then you would qualify for the scholarship as well. Uh, when it comes to the bachelor studies, then this would be the varied list which is offered uh, in English for the international and domestic students. So near enough, all faculties would offer uh, studies in, in English except for the Faculty of Architecture. So majority that would be studies in engineering, uh, but uh, we have as well Faculty of Business and Management offering three programs here for a bachelor students, which would be entrepreneurship and management, economics, international economic relations. And uh, we have as well the te technical uh, translation degree, uh, which would be offered to the students with the background in humanities. Uh, for the master studies, then, you can see that the list gets uh, even longer. So the courses are becoming more specialized. If for the IT students for at the bachelor level, we were offering computer systems, then at the master level, you can already choose that whether you want to continue with computer systems, you can do cybersecurity, engineering, business informatics, logistics, supply chain management. As well for the business students, the long list is here, 
Club is uh, specializing in business finance, in entrepreneurship and management, real estate management, uh, an MBA in innovation and entrepreneurship. So very um, uh, wide choices they offer to the students who want to do the masters. But um, the essential thing to know here when selecting your masters is that many of our master qualifications they are cross disciplinary. So in your case, that means that with your particular background, there are many different options at the master level you can select. So if you, let's say, had your bachelor degree in mechanical engineering, but at the master degree, you don't want to continue the mechanical engineering studies. So at the master level, then you can switch from one major to another in this particular example of mechanical engineering, then you could choose to study cybersecurity engineering, you can do business informatics, you can do logistics supply chain management, uh, you can shift into an MBA and do innovations and entrepreneurship, you could do the degree in industrial engineering and management, or in environmental engineering. So there are all digital humanities. So there are many options there. So then, uh, uh, you could always uh, con consult us and we will guide you through uh, which would be the best options for you uh, to select. As for the doctoral studies, then the degrees which we are offering, those would be mainly all engineering and science uh, related uh, degrees. For the doctoral students, however, admission is uh, handled uh, slightly differently because uh, initially you would need to send a request to the university sending your research proposal and we would then identify whether we have the supervising professor available and only then we start uh, processing your your application. Uh, apart from the uh, degree programs which we've just um, been going through, we are offering as well the double degree programs with our partners in UK. So for the bachelor students, we would have uh, option two plus two years in electronics and mobile communications or telecommunications degree with our partner university in England, Coventry. And uh, here that would mean that you would start your studies in Riga, complete two years, and then you could shift or transfer your studies to the Coventry University in England and complete another two uh, years. And then upon the graduation, you will receive two degree certificates, one from Riga Technical University, another one from the Coventry University. A similar option is available for the master students as well, which would be one year in Riga, first entry point, and then your second year, two semesters of studies at the University of Strathclyde in uh, Glasgow uh, in uh, Scotland. And degree which is offered under this scheme, that would be the degree in telecommunications. Uh, then we have the various foundation semesters and summer and winter schools uh, which are now currently taking place. We started in June and that's going to go on in July, August in the various different uh, fields uh, of studies are offered there. Uh, where do the studies take place? All the studies are taking place in our main campus, which is in Kipsela, and that is uh, located in the very heart uh, of the Riga city, so in the city centre. And here, uh, just to quickly uh, point out, we have our dormitories, faculty buildings, these colourful buildings. We have lab house, we have design factory, sports complex, including the Olympic size swimming pool, and here, a large shopping mall for you as well for your convenience. And just behind those trees, we have as well the banks of River Daugava there. Now in the summertime, that would there be, be a beach uh, which is available for the students as well. On our website as well, we have um, prepared the RTU uh, 360 degree presentation. So you can uh, visit our campus, uh, zoom in every building, check out what the dormitory rooms look like, what the uh, faculty buildings look like, all of that is available for you. You can have a look and do a bit of research yourself. Uh, but the facilities which I'd like to take you through, which are on our campus, that would be the 
uh, design factory and there is a network of the design factories so globally there are 30 design factories and we are proud that one of them is uh, located in our campus uh, in the in Riga and uh, they, we are offering varied services. There is 3D printing, electro shop, machine shop, molding, and all of that is there for your convenience when you work on the prototype or you need to work on a different project, any assignment, then that would be the practical um, hub for you to go to. You can use all the equipment, all the tools and prepare your project work or do any research or do any prototyping there. Uh, as well, we have many different research centers here. I've uh, uh, just got a sample from our one of the researchers and she works with amber, which is our national stone and uh, gets the thread out of the amber, which then has the antiseptic qualities and that idea has been commercialized as well and now is using uh, being used in the textile industry many various labs because when we talk about the structure of our uh, studies whether it would be for bachelors or for masters uh, then our um, Curriculum, a curriculum is organized that about 40% of that would contribute to your lectures and to your theoretical classes and the rest of that would be your lab works, will you be your practicals, various group assignments, simulation games, etc, etc. So there is uh, lots of emphasis on the practical application of the knowledge uh, which you will gain uh, during the studies. Uh, library, of course, is there as well. Uh, there are more than one and a half million of different items gathered there for you. You can use all the e-journals, e-books, or you can use the physical books, uh, uh, which uh, are at the uh, library. Uh, then we have a career center, uh, which is uh, as well quite popular amongst the international students, because uh, all our international students, you are allowed to work as well full-time or part-time, for bachelors, that would be 20 hours per week, which is part-time. For the master and doctoral students, there are no restrictions, so you can uh, work uh, full-time. Uh, however, it should not interfere with your studies because the class attendance is compulsory. And... Uh, if you are missing the classes, then of course, uh, then you would need to stop both working and uh, studying. Uh, for the international students in Career Center, we have as well person who is dedicated specifically for the international student needs. So he is helping with the internships, with the part-time, full-time uh, job placements there as well for you. And uh, if... Uh, you need uh, to survive in Riga city. Your living costs will be in the range of about 500 euros per month. Uh, so then do, doing your part-time or full-time work, you obviously will be able as well to uh, cover your at least uh, living costs. Apart from the job uh, and the uh, internship possibilities, the career center as well organizes the placement fair that is organized once uh, a year. Uh, lately, uh, it's been organized uh, remotely over the past two years, but we are hoping that it will be uh, then uh, resuming back to our campus starting from next year. And then as well for the students, as many of them that have their first um, traveling experience and being away from home, then we as well are encouraging students to use the psychological assistance if there is a need for that, of course. Being a large university, we have many many different sports activities available for students. So here we've uh, listed uh, some of them uh, for the students from the uh, India and uh, from Sri Lanka. We as well have the uh, cricket club uh, open for students at the RTU alone. We have as well uh, five cricket teams as well actively uh, playing. And apart from that, of course, many different uh, activities are there whether that would be theater whether playing any music instrument acting etc etc so many different interest groups are available there at the university and uh, of course uh, arriving uh, to the uh, to the country you've never been before it's uh, more than um 
important to know uh, where you're going to be st staying and uh, how your accommodation uh, will be arranged. And we are offering as well the on-campus accommodation. So that's located in the same campus we you just saw in Jeepsaw. And those are double occupied rooms with the rental fee of 180 euros per month and that will include all your utility bills on any other expenses than which you would normally pay for uh, renting ac accommodation there is uh, lots of accommodation available as well in the city center so students as well can rent pri privately as well in the city and uh, we don't uh, insist uh, on staying on, uh, in our campus in uh, Tipsala. And just some views from the top floor of our accommodation, views uh, from the reception and from inside of the dormitory building. Then it comes to the admission. Then we have uh, two intakes, and currently we are accepting applications for the autumn intake 2021, where your classes will start from 1st of September. We have varied uh, different deadlines, but in the case of India, then the deadline is 15th of July. So we still have a bit of time for you to uh, submit your applications. And then the spring intake will open on 15th of August and the deadline will be of 15th of October uh, this year to start your classes on 1st of September 2022. Uh, when it comes uh, to the admission requirements, then for the bachelor students, we would ask for your secondary school graduation certificate with the uh, uh, transcript, and uh, that should have minimum 60% of marks. So in case of India, that would be your 10 plus 2, 10 plus 3. Uh, then for the engineering students, we will have as well entrance examination in mathematics, which is conducted um, online so once the application is registered uh, then you will be invited as well to do your entrance exam in math uh, online that is for engineering students only for the business students you will not be required to pass the uh, mathematics test and uh, we ask for a proof of uh, english so whether that's ielts toffel rtu exam or confirmation from your school that your studies at school were in english in that case you are exam from the English examination and all students as well will need to do the pre-recorded video interview that's again going through the application process uh, once you already submitted your application then you will be provided the link where you'll need to log in and record the interview which then will be assessed all together with your application and for the master students, then we are required to have your bachelor degree, which should be minimum of three years, and first class, first division, so 60% and up. And uh, we will be asking again for the proof of English. Again, if your bachelor studies were in English, then you don't need to provide the English language proficiency, only the confirmation from your university that you were studying in English. And as well, you will need to do the video pre-recorded interview as it was uh, for the bachelor studies as well. So if we quickly go through the process, then you need to select the study program, understand the entry requirements, gather all your supporting documents, submit your application, pass entrance tests, and receive acceptance letter and study agreement. So once you've received your acceptance letter and study agreement, then you would be required to transfer annual tuition fees along with the security deposit. Uh, in case of India, then we are looking at your annual tuition fees for bachelor studies. That would be in the range of 3,000 euros per academic year. For the master students, that would be in the range of 3,800 euros per year. And the security deposit, that is 500 euros, uh, which is refundable once you complete your studies or you terminate your studies with Riga uh, Technical University. As for the scholarships, then in case of uh, India, we are offering Erasmus Plus scholarships. So that means that once you are already studying with us, then you can apply for the study or internship. 
uh, Erasmus mobility within the Europe. So you could spend one semester, one year in one of our partner institutions in Europe and the granted time period would be 12 months in the uh, the scholarship you get is in the range of 700 euros per month the conditions are of course that you already would need to prove that you successfully uh, have been studying at the RTU and uh, uh, the university which you are planning to spend your time in Europe would have a similar program as yours. And in case of the RTU, we have about 300 partner universities across the Europe. So there's a lot of choice for you to choose and go and... Uh, do your studies. When it comes to the rankings, then RTU has been uh, ranked according to the QNS 700 plus, which is uh, uh, a good achievement as well. If you look at the rankings of the universities of the um, northern part of Europe, uh, the highest ranking we've been ranked when it comes to employability ranking is 200 plus globally. In Latvia, we've been ranked number one uh, when it comes by the again employability ranking. So, literally, everyone uh, before they graduate from the university or then before they are just about to graduate, they all already get the employment in the respected study field. And according to the Times educational rankings, then RTU has been ranked uh, 361 uh, best universities in Europe. Uh, we are active on our social media, so you can follow us on Instagram at RTU International. So we have many varied uh, competitions there. You can as well uh, get uh, lots of our merchandise like uh, hoodies and etc. Or you can as well um, follow us on the Facebook at International Relations RTU. So that was briefly all from my side. And uh, uh, thank you for our representatives, uh, European Study Center, for organizing this session. And uh, uh, they are as well hosting our uh, RTU Information and Study Center in Chennai. So all the information is there. And uh, the ap appropriate guidance, of course, can uh, re be received from them at any time. However, if you do have any questions, then I'm uh, still here at your disposal and uh, other than that i wish you the wonderful afternoon and i hope to see some of you in riga thank you very much Um, I can see that there are some questions here about the refund policies. Uh, the tuition fees are fully refunded if your visa has uh, been rejected. Uh, for the double degrees, the tuition fee is not the same at the both institutions. Uh, the tuition fee for the first two years will be according to the RTU tuition fee rate. In the second two years or one year, in case of the master studies, that will be according to the tuition fee rates which are at the particular university in UK.
Uh, as for the academic verification, it takes about uh, one month to complete the full verification process. Uh, for the engineering programs, the students uh, from the science stream can apply for the engineering programs. Students with the background in science or with commerce can apply for the business uh, studies. We do not offer anything for the students with the humanities background at the RTU. Uh, as for the stay back visa, students can up obtain that after they completed their master studies and that will be given for one year. And within that one year, then you would need to find the full time employment, which then uh, offers you the work permit to stay and work in Europe. The whole admission process to assess the application, do the verification uh, once uh, the application has been submitted and the application fee has been uh, settled, that all together will take about 40 days. Uh, scholarship options for the bachelor, for master, the same what I've been explaining about Erasmus Plus scholarships. So those are the mobility scholarships which are available to students uh, once they are already studying with us. Uh, the study gap is accepted. However, then you would need to provide the proof what have you been doing during the gap, whether there is a professional experience or any other uh, justification. Uh, now we do not offer the airport transfer. We offer all the uh, guidelines. Uh, uh, instructions how to get to your accommodation, which services to use. On our website as well, there is a pre-arrival pre guide uh, available and that explains you everything in the detail. There are various uh, part-time jobs uh, options available there for the international students. Our career center will be the best one to guide you through that. Uh, the wages really vary from uh, uh, what exactly what kind of job you will be doing. And uh, from the information we have from the students, then they will be earning as much as to cover their living costs in the range of uh, 500 euros. About the stay back, I already explained. That's one year once you completed your master studies. Uh, university doesn't take you by hand and don't put you uh, at a certain organization to work. We have a career center which provides their support, but of course you need to take your own initiative in your hands. Once now, of course, there is this uh, process uh, when the verification of your educational documents is done. And if you have received uh, the final acceptance from the university, then, of course, uh, the any effect or any changes in the acceptance will not be applied. Well, the, it depends what you understand with a full set of documents. We accept students with the mark sheets. We accept with a provisional certificate uh, uh, without a full degree. But of course, we need to have a full degree, a full uh, proof that you have completed your studies. Uh, 
uh, we don't know uh, for sure. Obviously, that will depend about the government's uh, decision. But as of now, it's been uh, we've been informed that the studies will be on campus. Uh, well, there is still time to get the required documents. So, yes, in that case, then you just need to inform us and then you will be allowed to submit the documents once you are able to receive them. Uh, students can transfer. We will be comparing the courses uh, which match to your Indian institution. And then, of course, uh, you don't need to repeat those courses and you can continue in the RQ, whether more likely in the second semester. Uh, at the moment, there is no such requirement that the vaccination is uh, compulsory for the international students. Uh, the first year's tuition fee has to be paid fully. For the second study year, the tuition fee can be paid in installments. Well, I will as well have to say goodbye. Thank you for all your questions. Uh, I will need to as well resume to the next uh, my meeting. You've been a great audience. Have a wonderful uh, afternoon.